Our next speaker to share reflections uh, has his own legendary status at Delta State and at Ole Miss. Langston Rogers served a very distinguished career as Sports Information Director here in Cleveland at Delta State and went on to Ole Miss. We shared him with Ole Miss for a few years, but he got his real experience here, and he's really one of us. Welcome back, Langston. <laughs> Your daddy was still the hardest teacher I ever had. <laughs> I think I could take a load out here, can I? <clears throat> It's a humble honor to be with you today and say a few words about Coach Margaret Wade, the lady we dearly loved and respected. And my charge was to reflect on her historical impact on women's collegiate basketball. Being called the mother of modern women's collegiate basketball pretty much sums it up when discussing her importance to the growth of the sport. When Title IX came along, Many people trying to increase interest in women's basketball look no further than Margaret Wade. She was the perfect example needed to help overcome some of the challenges if women's basketball would be seriously accepted by the sporting public. Her story of being denied the opportunity to compete in women's basketball in the 1930s was well known. Title IX would help give young women an avenue to participate in sports that had been blocked to Margaret Wade those many years ago. While she may not have been as vocal as some of the other leaders of the movement, her very presence helped ignite the growth and popularity of women's basketball, especially in the 1970s when the national media was finally taking notice. In an aggressive effort to create an award equivalent to football Heisman Trophy, for women's collegiate basketball players, the Wade Trophy, named in honor of our very own Lily Margaret Wade, debuted in 1978 as the first ever Women's National Player of the Year. And many of us, as already been mentioned, attended the ceremony at the Waldorf Astoria in New York City as Carol Blaszczowski of Montclair State was chosen the first winner. State Farm Insurance is today's sponsor of the Wade Trophy, which remains as the oldest and most prestigious National Player of the Year award in women's college basketball. It is presented each year at the Women's Coaches Association National Convention in the city that is hosting the NCAA Division I Women's Final Four. To be considered for the Wade Trophy, players must meet a strict criteria. I find it very telling that one of the key requirements is that the player should embody, quote, the spirit of Margaret Wade, end quote, as defined by the WBCA and the NAGWS, the spirit of Margaret Wade. We know firsthand about the spirit of Margaret Wade. She may no longer be in our physical presence, but we are forever grateful for the time we spent with her and cherish the memories of her that we hold dear. We miss you, Coach. 